Diligent compliance indicates our professionalism, business acumen and dedication to the company values, celebrates one year of Harbour, professor of economics from the business school at the University of Pelly. However a study published in 2014 in Journal of Consumer Research, showed that the rebels usually considered more competent and give them a higher status than conformity. If a person violates the rules, so she can afford it. In other words, she has some independence and is not afraid of the consequences of their behavior, for example, losing a job. Deviation from the cultural norm has its social value, and it is rather negative than positive, says Sylvia Belletzer, associate professor at Columbia Business School in New York and one of the study's authors. According to the professor of the Colombian Banesco Catherine Phillips, women and ethnic minorities who work in sectors traditionally dominated by white men may feel more pressure to conform to the norm. According to Silvia Bellucci, exactly the opposite. In Silicon Valley this style of clothing has long been the norm, but in the banking sector or government t-shirt and sneakers will be the true rebellion. Also important is the influence of culture. In Western society, with its inherent individualism of the non-conformists usually command respect, not resentment. However, in the cultures of East Asia and Latin America, where interest groups have a significant advantage over more personal, society prefers to see in the role of leaders those who do not violate the rules. And therefore, because different people in different situations differently non-conformistic behavior, the red shoes can vary depending on context, the researchers note.